Welcome everybody to the Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes and on this episode we're going to take a look at Notre Dame linebacker safety Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. And if you're not familiar with what I do with these film rooms, this is not a highlight tape. This is where I take clips to showcase uh, what these prospects are, what their traits are, and then how I see them translating in the NFL, maybe who they compare to. Uh, where they could end up going. So let's go ahead, let's get into the tape, and let's look at why Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa is one of the top prospects potentially for the 2021 NFL Draft. When I look at linebackers transitioning from college to what they could be in the NFL, one of the things that I, there's three things that I look at. I want to see how good of athletes they are. I want to see can they play in space, especially in coverage, and then how can they fit within the run game. And so that's how I'm going to break down this. Let's first look at Owusu Karamoa as a an athlete. And and one of the things that stands out, if you don't know, is he tends to he's the, he's kind of a hybrid linebacker safety, and he's going to play usually at the field position. Uh, so here he is right here, the wide side of the field. You know he'll slide out and cover up the slot. He'll line up on the edge. He just plays towards the field. You know the open the wide end because they want to take advantage of his athletic ability. And as we see here on this play, they're going to run a kind of like a, a running back flare. They, they have these two receivers here. They have the tight end motioning out. And he's going to quickly read this, and you'll see just his burst and his speed. Uh, Perkins, the quarterback here, was looking there, doesn't have anyone open. And so then he has to look, and he ends up just burning the ball downfield. But a lot of that is because of Owusu Koromoa is able just to burst forward and blow this play up. I mean, Perkins sees that he's not going to be able to complete this pass. So once again, there's his his speed and his burst. Another example of this is on this route. This receiver in the slot is going to run kind of a, 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 a an out route, and Owusu Koromoa is going to be here. And as he reads this route, he's able to see that he's going to burst out. See right there, he sees him kind of making that move, and he's able to just accelerate forward and cover that receiver up and and having that burst having that acceleration and that overall top speed fits what you want out of a linebacker in today's nfl as i transition to the to the how he fits in the run game uh, in today's nfl teams are spread out you've got to be able to run and and everyone's as athletic and so linebackers have got to run sideline to sideline you've got to be able to cover that speed and so once again, here is Owusu Koromoa. He's lined up on the hash. The ball's going to go away. The running back's going to get the ball on a run to this offside. And as you watch Kor uh, Owusu Koromoa, he's able to read that and then take off sprinting and go get the quarterback there for, for a short gain. So if we watch it in full, he's able to see that the quarterback has it, and he's able to run, sprint, and just be able to go and fill that hole. And he didn't have to go sideline to sideline, but he still had to go from across the formation to make that play. On this play, it also shows Ousu Koromoa's ability to fill a hole. And so he's going to be kind of following this, uh, this receiver in motion, and as the play goes, they're going to hand the ball off up the middle. But as you watch him, he's able to quickly read it, fill that hole and make the tackle and we'll see it from the end zone view here as well as he comes across he's able to just step read the ball fill that hole and help make that tackle Owusu Kormo also shows a lot of ability to uh, use some force and some power in his game here they're going to run kind of like a wide receiver type screen and he's going to take on this tight end and push him back push him around ended up uh, he didn't make the tackle um, but it just shows that his power, you know, he didn't, he doesn't miss very many tackles, but as we see here, he's able to put himself in a position to make that play. We see a similar play later on in the game. They're going to run a same similar type of, of look, and he's going to blow this one up with his speed and acceleration and then that power. So he's able to get in on this receiver, trying to block him. He will knock him back. And basically frees up. Now, this guy was looking to block him. He was just got caught in the way. And that takes out two blockers and allows his teammates to come up and make this tackle for a very short game. Now against Virginia, Virginia is a pretty spread team. So we didn't get to see Owusu Koromoa inside in the box very often. 
but there's definitely plays from this game that just showcases his ability to get around blocks, get around traffic, and this is a prime example. Um, here he is lined up on the outside. They're going to run, and they're going to send a... This blocker is going to try and get him on an outside run. He's able to just use his athleticism to get around him, loop in, and then go in and make that tackle. So we see it again, just loops, gets around that guy, and is able to bend around uh, to make the tackle. And then the last play against the run that I want to show, just once again, is his ability to fill in a hole and make a tackle. He's lined up here on the edge, and they're going to run a, a, a ball to the inside uh, to this running back. And he's able to read that, make a lateral cut into the inside, and go in and, and make that tackle. So he shows, you know, maybe he's not lined up in the middle as a middle linebacker and he's filling holes, but he's showing up on the edge, being able to pick up the ball, see the ball, and go in and, and fill holes. And we saw that right here on this play. He reads the play, is able to go in and, and make that tackle. In today's NFL, it's no more important uh, now than ever that linebackers have to be able to play in coverage. You gotta cover tight ends. You gotta play, cover receivers out of the backfield. You gotta flow in zone. Sometimes you gotta match up in the slot. So you need your linebackers to, to play in coverage. And uh, Owusu Koromoa has definitely shown on tape um, that he can play in coverage. You know, he's a hybrid safety linebacker, so you've you got to be able to play in that position. He plays a lot in the slot. So as we watch him here, it, he just he shows the ability. He's got that natural athleticism that he's able to flow in zone, flow out there, pick up that running back. We see it here once again. He's able just to kind of flow out in zone, read, pick up this guy, accelerate forward. Uh, just that, that ability to flow. He can move laterally, he can get depth, he can react forward. You know, on this play, he's able to stop, sit, see this guy cutting in, and then he's able to burst forward and and practically cover him up. And if even if he didn't cover up and that ball got thrown, he was in the prime position to be able to make a play on the ball. So not only does you know, Jeremiah owusu Karmo is not just a linebacker that can drop into zone and maybe run down the seam. He shows the ability to line up and cover slot receivers um, out, out in the slot. Not just tight ends, but receivers too. So on this route, he's going to show he looks like a defensive back. He's sitting there. He's able to quickly flip those hips and run down the seam. Here up at the top, once again in the slot, he's going to run with this receiver on the wheel route. Uh, kind of a modified wheel route, just turning and running with him down the field just you know it wasn't a diverse route but just showing that athleticism out of a linebacker on this route he's gonna he's gonna drop back with this slot receiver and just stick with him quickly on an in route hey, as i mentioned before you got running backs in today's nfl the alvin kamaras uh, those type of guys that can run routes christian mccaffrey can go out and run routes so you got to be able to pick these guys up out of the backfield so carmo is going to be able to just flare out on the this go out on that flat route, and he's able to cover. But what's most impressive out of all the, the coverages that he had, all the times he lined up in man-to-man, -man, this is one of my favorites. He's lined up. Here's a linebacker, a linebacker slash safety, lined up in press man coverage against a, a wide receiver. This isn't their tight end. This is their receiver. It's not a running back. It's their receiver. And he's able to line up and press with him, and he's able to get out, and basically cover up this guy, the the receiver. I mean, he was a primary the the primary focus, but he cuts off his route because he can't get past the linebacker, and then the ball ends up getting thrown because he basically gave up on his route, and that was a linebacker out there covering it. There is so much to like about Jeremiah Awusu Karamoa as a player. As I've mentioned several times, he's kind of a hybrid linebacker safety but that's a position we're seeing linebackers in today's nfl that you don't have to be six foot four 240 pounds 250 pounds fill in that hole yeah having a six foot four guy who can run and and, and chase is great but the emphasis in the nfl today on linebackers is can you know sideline the sideline speed can you play in coverage can you fill a hole and, and make a tackle and jeremiah owusu karamoa definitely fits that you know he's six foot one 215 pounds so he's kind of on a lighter side but we're seeing nfl players you know the nfl linebackers a lot of these times they're around that 225 230 pounds so it's not something that um 
is too big of a deterrence. He's gotten a lot of Isaiah Simmons type comparisons because Isaiah Simmons with Clemson is that former safety that they put down in a linebacker. He was be able to use in a variety of different roles and, ha- and was a tremendous playmaker for Clemson. And while I understand that comparison and I don't necessarily dislike it, I think a more apt and better comparison for Owusu Karamoa is Miles Jack. Miles Jack, starting linebacker for the Jacksonville Jaguars, was thought to be a potential top five pick when he came out, but he ended up getting hurt during his last year, ended up falling to the second round because of injury concerns. And he's gone on, I wouldn't say he's a superstar, but he's a solid starting linebacker in the league. Jeremiah Wusu Karamoa, I think, fits that same type of playing style. You know, Miles Jack is six foot one, 220, 225 pounds. So Awusu Karamoa uh, compares size wise favorable to him. You know, when when Miles Jack was coming out of college out of UCLA, he played in the slot. He you know he cover slot receivers. He he do a lot of the versatile stuff that we see out of Awusu Karamoa. And so I think that's the player that I compare him most to. I think Owusu Karamo is probably going to be a first-round pick, barring some type of issue going on. I think, you know, linebackers, to go in the first round, you have to be able to do a lot of things. And I think his versatility, his athleticism, a lot of teams are going to like. And I think if you – but you also need a creative play defensive coordinator for him. You can't just line him up as a linebacker. Day, play in and play out. I think you've got to kind of move him out there and get him in space and kind of use him as a matchup weapon. And that's where I think he's going to have his most success. Uh, thank every, thank you everybody for watching this. If you like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you follow me on all social medias at draft underscore Brian, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, and obviously the YouTube channel. You can find my work at thehuddlereport.com. And thanks for listening. Until next time.